Welcome to another round of me trying to improve myself in the art of programming. This will be round number 9 of today. For me, I will try to improve myself in typing for 5 minutes and 25 minutes we will going through the tutorial, Angular tutorial that is today. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, come on, can do it.
Okay. What's the result? Four percent. That's that's really nice for me. That's that's really that's really nice and uh, it's really nice for me. Uh, so we'll put that in. That is four thirty nine which is better than the average in all of the categories so far this is not it is not better than my personal best uh, because i did two percent by accident i guess like a few days ago okay three days ago so this concludes our typing session and we can continue to the tutorial uh, because we are heading to be very special awesome and great uh, Angular developer, so I'll start the timer and I'll try to, to do some and uh, this might be the last round which I will be doing today because I feel kind of tired so we did create the new thing, right? the new thing is all near here There is a lot of lots of warning. Firewall, okay, and it is here. CD Angular tour of complete, complete. You don't. Why don't you complete of? Oh, because typo, Angular dash tour, here we go. Oh, it created, it created a git repository as well. Uh, yeah, I did, okay. Okay, so thank you, I guess. And so we did create it now what now, now what tutorial tell me now what contains a simple welcome and for it to run uh, so Okay, ng serve dash dash open serve serve dash dash open Cool. That's that's the same thing which we saw, right? It's a generated thing. Okay, so I guess I guess we can close this and have a look what. Okay, so we did this. Now components. It's application shell. Okay, so maybe I wanna. Oh, I wanna open it in some kind of. Well, here I guess. Open. And we don't want the QK firmware. Um, dev projects. Uh, study. And her, uh, this guy, Angular Tower of Heroes. Okay, and this window is please. So this is the project. It's a read B for us. 
resource is app, assets, nothing, environment, okay. This seems to be where, where the meat is. Content below is on the placeholder and can be replaced. Delete the template below to get started with your project. There's a lot of CSS and then the HTML, okay. <gasps> Component component called app component. Uh, close this. And what's this? This I don't want either. Where's the project? Where's the right project? It's personal pages. Here we go. Okay. So app component. I have a I have a lot of things which are called app component. CSS style, right? Then HTML view. Then this is a test of sorts. Okay. Then we have app component TS. And this has the component annotating thing, which just says title. So this is the annotation which we read before. There is a selector, there's template URL, style URL. Okay. Make changes. Source app folder makes some change to the starter app and send the implementation with the shell. Okay, so the TS, the component class code written in TypeScript, then the HTML, that's the template, okay. CSS, the component's private CSS styles. So we will change the application title property to tour of heroes title okay okay did did change oh i don't know i don't know because i did close the It's a store of heroes right now. Is that, that, that the thing we changed? If I change it to... Yep, yep yeah, that, 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 that's there. This is the thing I changed. Okay. the component template and delete the default template generated by the angular and replace it with the following h1 okay okay so we went ahead of ourselves a little bit so um hmm, how do i win oh i know i will do visual and okay so Visual GG delete and we want that uh, H1 right and it will be tight like that. Save it and now it should be in here. 
it's it, it is it is it is cool also we don't need this anymore Interpolation. By mixing back this in the version painting presents its title property. Okay, so it kind of takes the value and put it puts it in there. style here we go and now if we check it's blue it's blue okay well it might be a little bit different than the original but that's just too much white so we have that Here's the final code. Tour of Heroes. Little. This. Okay, summary. Create an initial application. Display data. Okay, cool. So we will proceed to the Hero Editor. Exciting. information and place that component in the application shell okay so ng generate component errors where should i be I guess I should be in the in the root source. So ng generate component heroes. Um, I'm running here this. Okay, so I will. How can I create a new one? Con control T. Yes. Okay, so we go to the folder. So, CD dev uh, projects, projects, uh, study, Angular, uh, Angular, Tower of Heroes. Here we go. Let's add. The command is ng generate component and rows. Unhandled exception. Component component I should get a component not components okay cool well, that, that, that works how our project looks like right now we have heroes now in here and this this module also changed I think yeah we have like these declarations okay cool 
create a new folder. Three files generate, okay, so let's have a look. I, I see four. Along with the test file, okay, so it is free and the test file. Okay, good. Okay, so he's just he's just showing me what is there. This is the component thingy in here, okay. Mm -hmm. You always import the component symbol from the Angular core library and annotate the component with cl class with component, okay. So component always. Annotate the component class with add component. Component is a declarator function. Specifies the metadata. Metadata is this then. Okay. Selector. CSS element selector. Mm -hmm. Template URL. URL. This is where the template is and the style where the styles for that is. Okay. Components private CSS styles. What is this? What is this? Yeah, CSS selectors. Matches the name of the HTML element. That identifies this component within a parent components template. So parents template, and I put in the HTML element. Geonet is a lifecycle hook in Lucas Geonet shortly after creating component. It's a good place to put initialization logic, okay? Uh, on it is empty right now. Always export the component class so you can import it elsewhere. Uh, export how do I export? Uh, here it says export. Yeah, this is okay. Always export the component class so you can import it elsewhere, like in the app module. I didn't even notice uh, that. Module. Here's the export too. Okay. What about in the app component? TS. Here's the export too. Okay. Add a hero property to a hero's component for a hero name. Okay, so hero windstorm. Um 
here, I guess. Uh, uh, how was it? Hero across and storm like, like, like this. I think white space. Okay, fix that. Okay, I think we are successful. Show the hero. Open the heroes component, HTML template, file, delete the default text and replace it with data binding to new hero property. Well, currently there is this heading of ours, right? No, 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 no. The heroes component. Okay. And we put in hero. Okay. So as this, the HTML and we delete this and put in uh, oh, come on. Insert. Uh, it was hero, right? Yes. Like so. Okay, so complete. Show the heroes component. We do app heroes element selector. Okay, so the app heroes is in the component specification. Yes, this. So this will be this thing and I suppose I go to uh, the app component and here I do it yes 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 like so and may maybe maybe now it works maybe now it works it works works okay remember that app dash error is on selector yeah so we did put it in there create a hero interface Source up hero TS. Source up folder. Source up hero TS. So it will be here. Uh, TypeScript file, it's going to be hero. TS. Um, let's add and that was export interface row ID. Okay. Oh, there was a there was a export in interface. Uh, yeah, hero, do we want, yes, hero, and there will be name, string, is there a semicolon, yes, and what was the order? Hey, piggy, oh, that's alright, don't worry about it. Glad to have you here and back. There's like still... 13 people, insane. Um, Maybe they already fall asleep. <laughs> oh, that's okay, I'm, all, I'm also tired, so this will be like, I'll end this and that will be it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, I'm tired, dude. I, I, I want to continue, but I kind of feel it will be wiser to go. Oh, there was a... 
Oh yeah, I have 110 followers. Wow. Yeah. It's uh, today was like insane. A lot of people, a uh, lot of lot of subscriptions. Uh, insane. Return to the Harris component class and import the hero interface. Okay, which is import hero from here. Okay, so we can do that. Up now. Uh, arrows component, yes, and we can do import hero from hero. Here we go. Uh, do you think so? I grow fast. Well, currently I'm going through tutorial and this is end of this round. <laughs>